When clicking down through several levels of folders on the documents page, it doesn't take long before the folder names become hidden, especially when long folder names are used. This makes it difficult to read the folder names and navigate back up the folder structure. Now when this happens, the folder names are added to a drop-down menu in reverse order, making it easier to see your current location and to navigate to any of the higher level folders. You can also move documents and folders to any of the folders listed in the drop-down with a simple drag and drop. The fillet feature sets the option Allow Edge Overflow by default. This extends the adjacent faces of any edges that the fillet touches, which is great for holes and other features where you want to keep the fillet face constant for ease of manufacture. However, this may create an undesirable effect in some areas, such as this edge. If the radius is increased, the effect becomes more exaggerated. Turning the option off fixes the edge, but makes a mess of the fillet around the hole. Now you can select which edges to keep to give you the best of both worlds, maintaining the outer edges while keeping a clean fillet around each spot face. When adding fillets around sharp corners, the fillet faces extend until they intersect, simulating an end mill completely clearing the feature until level with the next face. If you prefer the cutter to roll around the sharp corner, a new option, Smooth Fillet Corners, does just that. After adding a whole callout, you can now override the precision and tolerance values for each parameter in the whole callout regardless of the default values set in the drawing properties. Once a whole callout is placed, double click on it to open the editing panel, check the box next to override precision tolerance, then use the menus to select a new precision, tolerance type and the desired tolerance precision. When space is limited, overlapping dimensions are inevitable. Now, when adding dimensions that overlap other dimensions, breaks are added to the extension lines automatically to make drawings clearer and easier to read. Breaks are always added to new dimensions, but this behavior can be overridden by right-clicking and selecting Unbreak Dimension. To break older dimensions, first unbreak them, then break them again. The Drawing Style panel now includes a new option to adjust both arrow heads independently. When selecting a dimension or multiple dimensions, left and right facing arrows are shown in the panel. Simply choose a specific arrow head type from the drop-down menu. When hovering or clicking on the arrow drop-down, the associated arrow will be highlighted in blue to show which arrow will be changed. Resizing rows and columns in a drawing table is now much easier. If you drag the edge of a row or column, Onshape now gives you feedback showing you the width and height as you adjust it in real time. You can also set a precise value for the size of a cell. Simply select the cell you want to resize. Right click, select resize, then set the values for row height and column width. You can now set default values for Onshape Catalyst tables like any other tables in drawings. Under the Drawings Properties panel, a new Catalyst section is available. This allows you to specify Catalyst table properties. The line thickness, font type, Text size and appearance can be defined and, of course, stored within your drawing templates. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.